Hey, welcome to another episode of Music Tips and Reviews with JG. Uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, I haven't did this album yet. Uh, I reviewed Thriller. Um, I reviewed Off the Wall. I reviewed Invincible. But I haven't reviewed Bad yet. So uh, I feel like this album was slept on. Even though it had a lot of hits on this album. I think because of his predecessor, uh, the Thriller album, you know, how big that album was, you know, the most, the highest selling album of all time, you know, how can you beat that? And I think uh, the bad album didn't get as much credit as it deserved, uh, you know, even now. Um, as we know, and people that's huge Michael fans and how he created his albums, uh, this was the actual last album uh, where Quincy Jones was working with him. But in actuality, a lot of the album, uh, Quincy wasn't as involved as with Off The Wall and Thriller album. Um, I believe it's no Rod Temperton on this album. It's a whole new crew uh, that worked with him on this album, uh, Bad Album. Uh, his look has changed you know he got lighter during this time you know people say different things he had bit of glago bit of, uh whatever how you you pronounce it um he had this disease where his skin you know got lighter uh they say a whole lot of different things about you know the change of michael's appearance um over time but uh anyways when we get into this bad album uh, sonically I think this is where he really got his sound as far as uh, his own sound you know he he was heavily he was heavily involved with songwriting off the wall and thriller but this album he really really got involved in in songwriting and really writing and people don't know Michael wrote a lot of songs for other people uh, you know even after this album so uh, let's go through the track list but also I want to play a video after we go through the track list to really get you more intricate you know inside of the 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 making of the bad album because a lot of people don't know it's a lot of producers uh, that were involved with this album that don't hardly get a lot of recognition uh, you know we always say Quincy Jones <clears throat> excuse me we all say Quincy Jones, but it was a lot of more different people uh, and producers that were involved in this this project. Um, so, you know, a lot of people, you know, compare this to Thriller. Of course, this wasn't as big as Thriller, but it did sell. It still sell a lot of uh, uh, albums. Uh, so, you know, the first song, Bad. First song, Bad, uh, produced by Quincy Jones and Michael Jackson. Uh, you know, he Quincy Jones did a, a, you know, he did his thing, but it wasn't as involved as, you know, Off the Wall and Thriller. Bad was a, a good set off for this album. Uh, love, love the video. Very long video with Wesley Snipes. Just the vibe of it, you know, them on roller skates, them inside of the... <laughs> The parking garage and you know just that whole vibe of that that video you know a lot of people say <laughs> that was janet jackson but you know that was michael that was michael uh the way you make me feel i love that 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 swing feel on that song just the vibe of the video very fresh you know him chasing the girl all around <laughs> all around in the video but just the vibe of that song was very uh electrifying to me uh speed demon demon uh i just love the the guitars and, and synths on this song you know how how it matches the name of the song uh just love just love the intensity uh the intensity on this song speed Dem demon uh liberian girl one of my favorite just a different vibe for for uh, Michael Jackson. Just a, a central vibe, you know, with the the main melody. 
a Liberian girl. Uh, just good friends. I love the way they vocally went back and forth. And I, it feel like Steve Wonder really matched match the intensity and the magnitude of, of Michael's vocals, you know, his pop vocals. And I feel Stevie really, you know, he really went in vocally on this song with Michael, you know. Uh, another part of me, another part of me is another great song. And it's a lot of great songs on the album, but it don't get it. I feel it don't get as much recognition as the other two albums. Uh, Man in the Mirror, very inspirational song. Uh, you know, it starts with yourself, you know, looking inside yourself, seeing what's the problem. You know, uh, sometimes we are the problem and sometimes we got to analyze, you know, ourselves in life. And I, I love the message. Uh, on Man in the Mirror, uh, uh, I like uh, Sahida uh, Garrett. I hope I'm saying her name uh, right. I saw a, a documentary on how she wrote this song uh, with Michael. I hope I'm saying her name right. Uh, I just can't stop loving you with her as well. Uh, just love the back and forth, the sensuality, the way Michael. I, and a lot of people don't give credit to Michael for his vocal ability and his vocal expressions in songs. I think he's one of the best as far as vocal expression, uh, especially even going back to uh, She's Out of My Life on the Off the Wall album. You know, he really gave expression uh, when he sung. And I, I think a lot of people should get that out of him. You know, vocal expression. I feel uh, a lot of artists just sing songs and don't give their all to the song. Don't get into the subject of the song. And so I, I just like that. Uh, I just can't stop loving you. Uh, Dirty Diana, you know, he got rid into his rock pop element. And we all still trying to wonder who is Diana. <laughs> you know, we, we think about these songs, uh, you know, off the bad album. Uh, Smooth Criminal. Smooth Criminal was a great song. Uh, I like the way he did Smooth Criminal uh, with Quincy Jones. You know, Smooth Criminal. Uh, love the vid video. I believe Smooth Criminal is one of my favorite, all-time favorite videos from Michael Jackson. Uh, just love the vibe. Just love the vibe. Very iconic. I remember, you know, having this video on VHS when I was young. You know, you would go to because the video I had like MC Hammer, Bobby Brown, and then when it get the Smooth Criminal, your eyes just glued to the television. You know, he really influenced a lot of people as far as his music videos. You know, even came out with a game uh, from the inspiration of this this video. And so, uh, if y'all remember Michael Jackson Moonwalker, if you're too young, <laughs> you missed out. But uh, anyways. Uh, leave me alone uh, I think he really basing off a lot of controversy a lot of uh, issues he was going through at the time you know dealing with pressure of the press and paparazzi people wondering why his, his skin had changed uh, during this time and so you know that's, that's what happened uh, and leave me alone was a pretty good song I love that he in his songs, he uh, he released a lot of pain, a lot of issues uh, that he dealt, you know, dealt with and, and still had dealt with after this time. Because you know, leading around the history album, you know, he was dealing with a lot of uh, child, you know, allegations and stuff like that. Uh, he was dealing with dealing with at the time. Um, so, yeah, I, I love bad album, love bad album. Uh, and if we go to, I want to go to another video uh, where they talk about, it was a lot of, it was a lot of producers that, you know, didn't get a lot of credit uh, on this album that I think deserve more credit, more recognition uh, as far as the making of uh, the Thriller album. So we, we're just going to check a little bit, check out a little bit of this video uh, about the bad album comes to their mind is Quincy Jones, 
But there's another unsung hero of this project, who helped craft majority of the songs from the ground up and often doesn't get nearly... And, you know, and a lot of people, uh, you know, they gave criticism to uh, Quincy Jones, like, did you play any instruments? But, you know, if we get look at Quincy Jones, we look at people like uh, Diddy, we look at, you know, other producers, uh, a lot of them want hands-on, but they still, you know, put all the musicians together. You know, they got to work for higher musicians, you know, to work on these songs, so. Really ...as much credit as he deserves. His name is John Barnes. He is one of the most important but underappreciated collaborators in Jackson's discography. So John, John Barnes, you know, he came along, you know, around the time uh, Michael Jackson was working on the Bad Album a little bit after the Thriller album. So, uh, yeah, he, he should get more recognition. Michael was first introduced to Barnes during the Jackson's Victory album sessions in 1983. But it was a song Barnes produced for his sister Janet called Don't Stand Another Chance that really got Michael's attention. Marlon Jackson was also involved in writing that song. And then when Michael heard it, he said, basically, Marlon, I know you didn't do this. Who did this? And I want to meet that person. And so Michael ended up calling me directly as a result of hearing and experiencing that. So, yeah, so uh, I just want to play part of that video. Uh, but later on, but later on in the, you know, in the video, uh, you know, they talk about other people that was involved in the, the bad album. Uh, but John Barnes is one of those those producers that you know don't get a lot of recognition uh, on the bad album. Uh, later on in the video, they talk about how you know these producers worked on the songs, but at some time in the in the middle of this process of working on this project, uh, they had moved to another uh, record studio, recording studio, uh, and you know y'all know Bruce Sweeting and you know that whole crew uh they kind of got more recognition for putting this bad album together instead of the people that originally uh worked with michael so um i didn't want to you know play this whole video you know for copyright sake but uh it's just a very interesting video showing a lot of more more people uh that were involved in the bad album but uh Incredible album, incredible album. Uh, of course, I got to give my <laughs> my uh, rating of the bad album. Uh, even though, you know, this was a great album. Uh, I, I, I think I think I'm going to give it. I think I'm going to give it. Uh, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I want to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a real, real huge fan of his slow songs. I think it was a lot more slow ballad songs on this album. But uh, I think it deserves an 8.5 out of 10. Close to a 9. Uh, but Bad is, Bad is an incredible album. Uh, top to bottom. But I think cohesively... I think Off the Wall and Thriller is a more cohesive album to me uh, from top to bottom. But uh, I give I give Bad Album 8.5 out of 10. And uh, leave a comment what you think about my rating. Uh, and about, you know, these, these uh, you know, comments that I had on each song. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please share my channel. Also have music tips and reviews with JG Jackets. Uh, it's the link is below this screen as you're watching. Uh, so appreciate y'all for tuning in and until next time. All right. Peace.